Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Wednesday afternoon and I'm down at the marina, guys. Sorry about me squinting, but the sun's in my eyes. Now I'm already down the boat. The boat's already running, guys. We've already loaded the boat up, fueled her up, and we're ready to go out. It's a fantastic evening. Um, yeah, you can't beat this after work, guys. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna head to the bream grounds and hopefully we'll get a few black bream or cooches bream, guys. Now I don't know if they're there. Hopefully they're there and hopefully they're biting. I've got a load of scallop frills, which I'll give you a glimpse of and some razor fish, so uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. Let's start making our way out there, cue the music, and let's get onto these fish. Let's go and do it, baby. Let's go and get these fish. down my rod and check this out one big scad and one little bream now we're gonna keep all this for pot bait guys that is a ginormous scad anyway stay tuned I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll get back down let's get these fish so guys we've arrived to the mark now the rig I'm using is I'm just using my spinning rod just with a set of feathers on and all I'm doing is putting scallop frills on all the feathers that way it's a prime bait for these bream. They absolutely love scallop frills, guys. So I'm not gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight down and hopefully we can get you a few fish, hopefully a few bream. There is a few markings on the bottom. Hopefully that is the bream. So maybe some scad, stuff like that. We've already had a scad and a bream. So quite possible that it's just scad and bream down there, but we are after bream. That's what the session is tonight. Hopefully we can get a cooches or a nice decent black bream. And all I'm doing is keeping the bait on the bottom, guys. Bream absolutely love biting on the bottom. So you want to try and keep your feathers lying on the bottom. And that way the scallop frills are there. There you go. That was a bite then, guys. And again. Thought I had him then. Anyway, it shouldn't take too long, guys. I'll bring you back once we get some fish. So guys, I've just moved slightly. I'm just getting the feathers down, full of the scallop frill baits. And hopefully there's gonna be a few fish. There's a few markings. Come on, Breen. Well guys, we're gonna try and go down again. They skint all my bait last time. Fish on. Fish on, guys, like that. We got one. Come on, baby. Lovely black bream there, finally. Managed to get one. Lovely little bream. Fine little bream that, guys, beautiful. Right, let's go back up for another drift. Well, I've just come to a little wreck with the feathers. Not sure if I got enough on. I think I might have something small. Small pelting there. We'll have that for bait, guys. Cracking little pelting. We'll have that all day for long for uh, pot bait, guys. Pelting is fantastic. Wouldn't mind some bigger ones though, that's for sure. Get back down and see if we can get some. 
Not a lot of bream at the other mark, guys, which is the reason why I've moved. Just trying to catch some fish, you know, before we go and do the lobster pots. But yeah, a little pelting, better than nothing. Anyway, we'll go back over the wreck and see if we can get something else. So guys, I've been out here roughly about two hours and all I've had is one giant scad, one little pelting and two small bream. So all in all guys, the fishing hasn't been that great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the lobster pots and hopefully we can get a few lobsters or big shankers guys. And we got a load of bait from Martin. So let's go and refill them. Let's go and do it guys. Hopefully we get those lobo wobbos baby. <laughs> So guys, first string, check that out. A lovely black bream. It's not a bad size, that. Straight in the bucket, he goes. That's it, just one black bream in there. And we have a lobster and a brown edible crab, guys. He's not big enough, definitely not big enough. The lobster, I don't think that's gonna be big enough, guys. I'll give it a quick measure, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be under. Cracking looking lobster, though. Anyway, let's get on to the next set. Get on to that second string. So guys, second string's up. In the first pot, we've got absolutely nothing. But in the second pot, we've got another bream. Don't know what it is lately. There's lots of bream in my crab pots. We won't moan at that, guys. That's pot bait, so straight back in there. We've got a small brown edible crab, which you can see there, and a spider crab, which is just through the netting there, guys. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. So I'm gonna empty these and we'll get onto the third set. Hopefully we get a few keeper lobsters. Get onto that third string, guys. So guys, third string's up, first ink quail, nothing, but look at this, we got a lobster in the other one. And it could be a keeper, guys, it's a nice lobster. Check that out. I'm just gonna get him out. Oh, that's gotta be a keeper. Look at that, eating my mackerel, guys. Fantastic. That is a beauty. That's a beauty lobster, in the ink quail as well. And it's a male. Fantastic, that's one keeper guys, check that beast out. That is a beast. Happy with that. Anyway, let's on the MTDs, look, we've got a few spider crabs, brown edible crabs, nothing decent. And yeah, let's get on to the next string. Lobo Wobbos, baby! Get on to that full string.
So guys, fourth set top, first pot, big velvet swimming crabs. We don't like these, they're red eyes. Get rid of them. Spider crabs, little spider crabs, and velvet swimming crabs, guys. So I'm not gonna give you no more of a show of that. Second pot, just one spider crab. Not very good. One claw, not very good looking crab, guys. So we're gonna chuck that crab back. Look, he's trying to pinch me. Back he goes. We bake these up and we get on to the uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth set, guys. It's absolutely flat out here. Let's go on to that fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth set, guys. <laughs> So guys, fifth set's up, this is the creel pot. These normally catch lobsters and we've got absolutely nothing. In the second pot, we've got a few brown edible crabs. Nothing worth mentioning about, guys. So just let him get his claw off, he'll release and then I'll get rid of him. Couple more at the back there, no good. So we'll get onto the sixth, seventh and eighth set, guys, and hopefully do a little bit better. Get onto that six set, guys, just in front of us. So guys, the sixth set is up. First of all, we got a peeling uh, brown edible crab. Load of small spiders and brown edible crabs. Nothing worth watching over. And then the bottom, all we got is one small brown edible crab, guys. So I'm not gonna waste our time. We'll get onto the next set. We need those lobsters. Go on to that seventh and eighth string, guys. So guys, seven strings up. First pot has got absolutely nothing, bare minimum. Second pot, it's just brown edible crabs and spiders, guys. Complete waste of time. Now we've only got the smash fishing string. Hopefully that gets us a lobster. Let's get onto that smash fishing string, guys. So guys, last string's up. First pot, velvet swimming crab. I hate these things. I absolutely hate them. They're red evil eyes, got big claws. Don't like them. Second, we've got a conger eel, guys. Now, he's there. I absolutely hate conger eels. I absolutely hate them, guys. Look, back he goes. Straight back down. 
What a dive he went. A little spider. I've also got a little lobster. Wherever there's a wherever there's a uh, conger, there's normally a lobster. Fine little lobster that. Look at him. Perfect representation. Look, he can nearly pinch me. He can nearly get his hands behind his back. So we're going to let that one go, guys. Fantastic looking lobster. It's a little female as well. Beautiful. Like that goes. Straight back down in a minute. And yeah, second pot. Not a lot. Got a ras though, guys. Lovely looking ras. Beautiful, vibrant collars. Now, I normally chop these back. I'm going to keep this one today. Just because we need a little bit of pot bait. So, uh, yeah, he's going to go in the fish bucket. So, we put him in there. And then the second pot, uh, third pot, smash fishing pot. Have another ras, guys. Let's try and get him out nice. Oh, he's wriggled. I'm just going to try and get him out. Lovely ras there, guys. Another lovely fine ras. Look at the colorations on him. Look at the eyes, the teeth. Big teeth, big rubber lips. Beautiful. That's going to go into the fish pot. We missed. And it's just crabs, guys. So I'm going to get rid of these. And we're going to start making our way in. Play them out and start heading home. So guys, let's start making our way in. I've just played the smash fishing pot in a new location. Hopefully, it'll bring us lobsters. Let's start making our way in, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's go. That's all the boat clean. We're back in port. Went bream fishing and lobster fishing. We did have them, but nothing too significant. One decent lobster and a couple of decent bream and uh, a nice big scab. But other than that, guys, the fishing was poor. So at least we managed to get one lobster rather than none because that would have been bad. So uh, yeah, one lobster keeper, one bream. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you like the channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more. And we'll see you on the next one. It's inglorious fishing, baby. Like and subscribe. Love by Wobbos.